In this video, I will demonstrate how you can perform an underfloor heating calculation. First, you must change the floor component to an underfloor heating component type. To do so, I will access the story function in the toolbar. And then in a basic data tab, since I'm going to calculate for the complete building or story, I will double click this building entry. And then I will double click this floor com uh, component here, access the product database. And then in the category under floor heating, you can select uh, one of these components products here. I will select this first one, okay? And then you define for for all the, the floor uh, rooms. And uh, next step, we have to access the building function. So in the tab heating facilities, we must change the target output for, uh, for the underfloor heating different from zero. So I will set 100% for the underfloor heating as well. And then you can set it for the complete building or for the story, okay? Now let's apply it. And then we can go directly to the tab on the floor heating. First, in the manufacturer, we click on the three dots button to select a, a system type for the underfloor heating. So I'll select this staple system. Next, we select a manifold. I will predefine a manifold for uh, with 12 outputs. Okay, and then you can insert somewhere in the model. Press escape to get back to the to, to the dialog. And then we are going to draw the underfloor heating for the model. So I click here, draw. And then since I'm going to insert for the complete model, click here and I can make a diagonal line. I will press the hotkey F9 to deactivate the ortho. And then make this diagonal line, press enter. And we see the hatch uh, in the complete model. Okay. Now let's, I'll press escape to get back to the dialog. And I will edit these spaces on the floor heating spaces I, I have inserted. First, I have this option cut out. So by clicking here, I can, uh, I will activate the ortho once more. And I want to remove this these region here. I will outline this and then I can remove it. Now I will press escape. And I want to split into three parts some, some regions. Like uh, where I have window, I will click in this split into and I will split this one and this one here as well. Okay, I would like to split this room as well, but uh, I first have to change the orientation of the room. So I'll press escape because the DS card takes in consideration the wall number. So if I split this room, it would have the same orientation of this room, or uh, a digital center room or the office too. So what I can do, since I want to have this orientation for uh, these two windows on the left, I will select this number two in front of, of this uh, wall, right mouse click, and I select the option set wall as first in room, okay? Now I can go back to, to the building and then to the underfloor heating. If I now split this room, it will get the orientation I'd like to have, okay? Now I'll press escape and uh, I will click OK because I want to remove this region. I don't want to, to use the underfloor heating for the showroom. And uh, for the hall, right now, I don't want to, to use it. So I will double click. And instead of normal temperature or higher temperature, I can define as unheated. Okay. And these circuits close to windows, I will double click and I will change to higher temperature. I will also remove for this machine room and for the tea kitchen. So we see different colors for uh, for the circuits when we have uh, higher temperature, normal temperature in blue and unheated in green. 
okay now let's get back to to the building and then to the underfloor heating so we can calculate it we see that we we now have uh, 12 circuits the number of uh, many um, of outputs in a manifold okay um, so you click calculate now we we can see the the results here for each um, circuit so we can um, create a report okay so in the bottom left i will select the option under full heating room list and i will also show the the list pipe distance with room okay next page we see here uh, the circuits that belong to each room we see the 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 norm heat load what has been calculated for the heat load we see the target performance and uh, the actual output for each room and we also see it in each circuit okay for each for each room next page we can also see the the length of the cable um, by pipe distance in each room these reports can be exported to to pdf can be printed or exported to other formats to be opened in excel word and etc 